Meow to y'all and welcome back to another video. In a previous video, we were able to romance Shane before the end of spring, thanks to 1.6's Meadowlands Farm giving us a coop right at the beginning, providing us eggs that are a liked gift by many. Shane was a tough nut to crack, but now I can't help but wonder, is it possible for us to form a click by the end of spring? That's what we'll be figuring out today, so buckle up. If you don't know me, I'm Sodder. I'm new to making Stardew Valley YouTube videos, so if you've got any feedback or suggestions for the next video, feel free to leave a comment below. Now let's explain a few things first. In order to form a click in Stardew Valley, we need to reach a five heart friend level with four people, rewarding us with the achievement clicks. We'll need to do a few different things to raise up enough friendship points to get a total of 1250 points, or five hearts. Finishing that introduction quest we receive at the start of the game will give us 100 points for every single person. Talking to someone will give us 20 points each day, totaling 560 at the end of the month. Of course, gifts will play a huge part in this challenge. Our coop's eggs will provide us a gift that is mostly liked by the townspeople, though for some it's a neutral gift. Loved gifts will give us 80 points, liked gifts will give us 45 points, neutral gifts will give us 20. Of course, we need to be careful with some gifts, as a disliked gift will give give us minus 20 points, and a hated gift will give us minus 40 points. At this point in the challenge, I don't know which four of the townspeople will be in our exclusive clique, where we'll gossip about Lewis leaving his shorts in Marnie's room. So I'm going to make sure I talk to everyone and give some commonly liked gifts, like eggs, dandelions, and daffodils. We're also going to plant parsnips and tulips as easy crops for gifting and some pocket change. Unless otherwise stated, we can assume that all crops and flowers we grow are universally liked there are only a few exceptions. With our small coin purse, we can also buy some food from Gus that's loved, like coffee for Harvey, salad for Leah, spaghetti for Robin, pizza for Sam and Shane. I know there's also beer available, but I feel icky about giving beer to people like Pam and Shane after learning their lore, so we won't be doing that. This food does cost a pretty penny, so we can't go too crazy until we start getting some money rolling in. We'll do some fishing to help supplement us or not. Why was Sonic the Hedgehog on the hook just now? With our chickens fully grown and providing eggs, we now have even more gifts to give people, including Alex, who literally just ate an egg, shell and all, a la Gaston style. What in God's name is going on with this guy? Parsnips are ready to be harvested, and at this point, with the completion of the introduction quest, chatting every day, and a few gifts sprinkled here and there, most of the townspeople should have a little over one heart, which is great. We've made so much progress so far. I am now realizing a problem though. Trying to befriend every single townsperson is a pain. It takes so much time to try and talk to every single person because of how scattered they can be. We need to narrow down our targets for this challenge. If we need four people to form our clique by the end of spring, which four of the townspeople would be best? Well, let's see. There are a variety of characters that have a birthday in spring. Mayor Lewis, Vincent, Haley, Pam, Shane, Pierre, and Emily. Choosing some of these characters for our clique would be ideal because gifting someone a gift they love on their birthday can easily reward us 640 friendship points or two and a half hearts. That alone is half of the points we need for an individual to get enough hearts for this challenge. We should also choose characters who have easily accessed gifts they love, whether it's something we can forge, farm, or buy from Gus. I decided our clique should include Pam, Shane, Haley, and Harvey. What a wild group. Could you imagine all of them gossiping in the saloon together? Pam is a great inclusion because one of her favorite things is parsnips, which we've already been growing, and they're super cheap and easy to grab. They grow in just four days so we can easily cover her two gifts per week. Shane likes eggs and his love gifts are easily bought from Gus, so we'll be giving him pizzas every week as well. Haley likes Dan dandelions, which are easily forged all throughout spring. Her love gifts are going to be a little difficult to find. Coconuts, fruit salad, pink cake, and sunflowers. We can't get coconuts via the Calico Desert because the bus isn't repaired yet. Fruit salad and pink cake are cooked items, but we have no kitchen. And sunflowers grow in the summer and fall. Maybe we'll get lucky and the traveling cart merchant will sell it. If we do happen to get one of these, we'll definitely give it to her on her birthday. And on day five, the traveling cart merchant is selling sunflowers literally perfect. For Harvey, one of his loved gifts is coffee, easily bought from Gus for only 300 gold. If we can't afford that, he likes dandelions, daffodils, horseradish, and spring onions, all easily forged during spring.
spring. Now, Harvey doesn't have a birthday in spring, but he is a romanceable bachelor that we can ask to dance with us during the flower festival, which rewards us 250 points. This obviously doesn't compare to the whopping 640 points from giving someone a love gift on their birthday, but I want to include one character that doesn't have a birthday in spring just to see if we can do it. Full disclosure at this point, I was actually thinking of including Leah instead of Harvey. Leah also has an easily accessed love gift, which can be bought from Gus for cheap. Salad. She also has easily accessed like gifts like driftwood, dandelion, daffodil, spring onion, and horseradish. From the challenge point of view, Harvey and Leah are actually really similar. So why did I choose Harvey over Leah? Scheduling. Leah's schedule makes her really difficult to find a lot of the time. On regular days, she doesn't leave her cottage until 12 p.m. And when she does, she stays in the woods to work on her art. On rainy days, Fridays, and Saturdays, she doesn't leave her cottage until about 4 p.m., which is pretty late in the day for me when I've already talked to and gifted Shane by 8 a.m., Pam by 9 a.m., and Haley by 11 a.m. And all of them are in the vicinity of each other during this time. Harvey was just more convenient for me. As He's always available in the clinic in the mornings. So that's the click we're working towards. A controversial character that struggles with their drinking and is rude to us. A controversial character that struggles with their drinking and is rude to us. A controversial character that doesn't struggle with drinking but is still rude to us. And Harvey. Okay, listen, don't grab the pitchforks. I end up defending mean characters all the time and I'm married to Shane on like 14 different save files. It's just a wild lineup that we have. We'll go through our days talking to these four every day, gifting them and checking the bulletin board to see if they post any requests. Completing one will give us 150 friendship points, which will be helpful. On spring 12, I ran into something weird. Haley just started ignoring me. I consistently gave her dandelions and talked to her every day. I didn't do anything to annoy her or aggravate her or anything like that. I even reset this day to see if this was like a weird glitch or something like that, but she was still ignoring me. She just absolutely refused to talk to me. I looked online for some answers, but didn't find anything. If y'all know why this happens, please let me know in the comments. Now the ball is really going to start rolling. Spring 14 is Haley's birthday, and we were able to gift her that sunflower that we luckily bought from the traveling cart merchant. By giving her a love gift on her birthday, it skyrockets her friendship towards us. And on the 17th, we got the achievement, a new friend, which means we have one person at five hearts, a quarter of the way towards completing this challenge. The next day, Pam's birthday. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, we give her a parsnip for her birthday and we're in business. Two days later, Shane's birthday and he gets a pizza, check and mate. The following day, spring 21st, Harvey is now at four hearts, which is needed to ask him to dance at the flower festival. We'll spend the next two days still talking to everyone in order to prevent decay with the friendship points. And finally, on the day of the flower festival, we ask Harvey to dance and instantly get our 250 points, increasing him to five hearts and bam, we have formed a click within Pelican Town. Challenge complete. With all that said, I hope you all enjoyed this video and thank y'all so much for watching. If you've got some feedback or suggestions for the next video, be sure to leave a comment down below and make sure to subscribe to catch my next video. I'll be making more Stardew Valley videos, so keep an eye out. Bye!